Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be doing a video on the new Fenty Beauty Concealer. Now, y'all know when Fenty Beauty comes out with something, it's going to be a hot drop. Personally, for me, the last product that I personally bought was the eyeshadow palette, and I wasn't like the biggest fan of it. I just thought it wasn't as pigmented as um, other palettes and other, you know, brands palettes are. But a lot of you guys were telling me that you have to use it with the serve product, which is the primer that it came with, and it'll be a lot more pigmented. However, um, that just wasn't. It was kind of like a flop for me. I did go ahead and swatch these concealers already, and they get did get sent to me. So let's just stop right there like what <laughs> so a big huge thank you to Fenty Beauty for sending these to me in PR it's just so amazing that a brand can recognize little old me and be like hey let me send you something so they sent over two concealers and that was it so I don't have the setting powder to review but you guys know I'm a setting powder junkie so I'll probably end up buying that at some point so that way I can review that and try that out because I do really, really, really like setting powders. Like, when I find a setting powder that I love, that's the only thing I use for like a month straight and then I'll decide to switch it up. But, um, so I don't have the, uh, the setting powder to review with this, as I mentioned. So, the two that I have are the shades 400 and 430. And I did swatch these and upon first swatch, it was just... <sighs> It was just kind of miss and I know that they base these off of my foundation shade because I did tell them that I'm the shade 4 430 but I have 440 here because 430 was out at my Sephora so I bought 440 but um, these two I would probably have to go with like two shades lighter so instead of 400 I would probably be like 380 probably 360 380 in that shade range for a little bit more of a brighter under eye but we're just going to try it out and see how it looks with the foundation and everything so as i mentioned i am in the shade 440 as of right now uh, this is my second bottle of this Fenty foundation um, because the first one I bought was way too dark and it was on release day <laughs> and it was just way too dark and it you know it's really hard to know what shade to buy when you're looking for concealer like complexion products online because they don't really give you accurate accurate swatch representations I personally feel like um, in my personal opinion I don't really use this foundation too much uh, I I kind of feel like it was kind of overhyped. I mean, it's a great foundation, but um, it just it isn't one of my favorites or one that I like really like to like drop everything for and wear only type of thing. Um, probably because I still just haven't found a really good shade personally, but I think once I find a shade that matches me and isn't too like reddish orange, I think that's when I'm going to be like, oh, that's my ride or die. I think it is like a soft matte long wear foundation, so it's not going to be super drying for like dry skin. It's not going to be overly oily for um, oily skin girls, so it's kind of like right in between, which is really great. So it'll fit a lot of different skin types as well. So I'm going to go ahead and prime or I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I'm gonna prime with my cover for exploring primer this is my all-time favorite and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the concealers okay you guys so I went ahead and put the foundation on and as you can see it's just too orange and I will wear it like every once in a while because I think it wears really nice but I just can't get over the shade like I just need a better shade and they're always out of stock and I'm, I'm either 430 I know when I swatched 430 in the store it was like a better match than 440 but I'm either 430 or I'm 420 and I think 420 was too light so I'm not really sure y'all but I cannot with this Oompa Loompa, that's why you guys never see me wear it. But so for the concealers, I have 400, which I'm gonna swatch on the back of my or my wrist. Actually, I swatch on the back of my hand ish area because it's a little closer to skin tone, not really my face. Uh, I, I'm looking at the viewfinder and I'm like, you look like a fucking Oompa Loompa right now. So hopefully, this concealer, this concealer helps. But this is the shade 400, 
and based on first watch like when I first watched this the consistency is very thick in my personal opinion so this consistency how I described it on um, Instagram on my Instagram story is a lot like the Kat Von D locket tattoo concealer that concealer when it came out it was very 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 thick and I do have a battle of the concealers video so if you want to watch that it's pretty old I think it's like two years old but you guys can watch that I'll leave that link down below However, the consistency is very thick. I am going to blend it out because I haven't blended it out yet. But as I'm blending it out, it blends out pretty easily. But it does keep that kind of thicker, full coverage consistency. My personal favorite concealer, like of all time is the ColourPop concealer. Also the Urban Decay Naked concealer. They're pretty much one in the same inconsistencies. Whereas it's full coverage, but it's a lot more thinner, lightweight. Of a consistency I really don't like the thick pasty concealers I just have I don't know I just have stopped using them I don't even really pick up my Tarte Shape Tape concealer anymore like the only concealer I use right now is my ColourPop concealer so this is the shade 430 and I'm gonna place this right underneath a 400 now this is this would be the shade that I would have bought in foundation. This is the shade that I told them that I wore in foundation. So this is how this one is blended it, blended out. Now the concealers I feel like are pretty at least these darker ones are pretty warm in undertone. Um, 430 seems a little less red than 400 which is kind of weird because it's darker. You know what I mean? So, not really sure, it, it looks lighter, like not really sure how, hmm, maybe I want to use this one. Maybe I'll use a little bit of both, or maybe I'll do one eye and one eye type of thing. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Okay, so since I have heard people say like they wish they could see one shade on one eye, one shade on the other eye, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and pray and hope for the best. So this right side is going to be the shade 400. I'm actually going to pick up my mirror and put it up here so I can see. Uh -huh. And I'm going to put it on the right side. I think this is just all going to look really, 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 really warm. So I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Blends out really well. It's not like super cakey or super thick as I expected it to be. But it's still just not my cup of tea. Like this shade is really bad. Like this whole face is really bad. Um this is not something that I would ever just put together the foundation is way too red the concealer is way too warm um so just I'm just not feeling it and I don't want to feel like negative Nancy in this entire video but I'm just not with it you know what I mean but this is shade 430 and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my same beauty blender So for some reason, 430 gives me the look of a little bit more, a little more awake, like a little more fresh. I don't know. It, this is really weird because it's darker and I feel like it makes me look a little bit more bright. I don't know. But to set this down. I am going to use my flower powder from um, Beauty Bakery. I really like this powder. I used it for the first time yesterday and I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and just set both of these. Maybe this will give me a little more brightening. This is like a really thin, finely milled powder. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It doesn't feel cakey on the face, the foundation, nor the concealer, which is really 
um, surprising because it is a really thick concealer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just finish off the rest of my face as best as I can. And I will come back on the camera to um, talk about um, pros, cons, what I thought, and everything like that. So I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so I am back, and as you can see, um, it kind of wasn't wasn't anything that setting powder couldn't fix, um, but I went ahead and popped on lashes. I have on the Queens by PJ Lashes. It's an Instagram lash brand, and I think these are the Lewinsky lashes. They're my favorite, like, when I do, like, a natural, no makeup makeup look like this, these are my favorite lashes to wear. Like, they're so bomb. And then the lip color is the Bobbi Brown um, Luxe Liquid Lip Velvet Matte in Brocade 5. So it looks like this. I just thought it went well with my shirt, so I just popped it on. Um, and I haven't done, like, a colorful look in quite some time. But anyways, back to, excuse me, to the product. So personally would i use this product on a daily basis no this isn't my cup of tea as far as consistency i think it's a little too thick in consistency which is why i stopped using the kat von d lock it tattoo concealer and also the tarte shape tape concealer um i've been going more so more, more so towards the lightweight um but full coverage concealers a lot like the ColourPop and um the urban decay naked skin concealers although i don't feature that a lot but the ColourPop concealer is my all-time favorite concealer i think that a lot of people will buy this concealer just because of the hype and it's fenty and a lot of people might actually like that concealer if you love a thicker kind of richer consistency of a of a concealer this will be great for you um if that's not your cup of tea then i wouldn't really worry about it uh no really creasing i don't really have an issue with creasing or anything like that so i didn't see any creasing or anything like that the color selection personally 400 and 430 are a little too warm for me i think it's great if you're not wanting to wear their foundation and you want to use their concealer as like a spot concealer so say i have a pimple over here you know a couple of dark spots whatever it may be you can use as a spot concealer maybe a little bit under the eye blend it out and it will look like your skin tone it's great for that but as far as um these two specific shades for highlighting and contouring i would not suggest um i don't think that they would work really well well i'm trying to remember trying to think of anything else that um i have and i didn't want to feel like a negative nancy the entire video but i knew upon first watch whether or not i would like that like this product and personally for me i just didn't like it just wasn't it's just i'm just not a big fan now their foundation it feels really nice it's actually a little more drying than um what the kat von d foundation that i've been wearing lately and then the milani one so it might actually be a little bit i might have to make this work for my uh for my for my wedding because it actually feels pretty pretty tight and i did spray my mario badescu facial spray as well but the foundation y'all already know the foundation the concealer I suggest you not to order online. I suggest you go into a Sephora at JCPenney's or a Sephora um, in a mall or a standing Sephora if you live in like a big city like New York. Go to a Sephora and actually try it out first before you order it because you may not like the concealer and you may want to buy it just to see, you know, what the hype is and whatever it is. But we need to save our coins all 2019. So go to Sephora, try it out, see if you like the consistency, see if you like the color selection because they did come out with a ton of shades um and just see what works for you because everything is different and i wanted to make sure i mentioned that um that what i'm telling you isn't the holy grail you know what i mean get a few different opinions watch a few different reviews um i'm oily so i mean it's not like it it doesn't as far as i know it doesn't really like flare up my oiliness but you know check out a couple of different girls boys different skin types different skin co complexions you know check out the whole realm of the Fenty Beauty concealer and and just gather a couple opinions before you spend I think it's 30 anywhere between 28 to 30 bucks on this concealer so that's pretty much all I have you guys um it, it just it's an it's a no for me dog you know <laughs> it, it's a no for me personally i'm just <sighs> let me swatch my ColourPop concealer so i use the shade dark 42 and i'm just gonna swatch it right back here 
Now this concealer is my favorite. It's really neutral in undertone, so it's not overly warm because you know most foundations that are made for our skin tones are already red, orange, really warm. So the concealer for me, I need to be very neutral if anything. And so 400, I'm gonna swatch right underneath of that. So you can already see how golden it is. And this is also why I stopped using um, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I think it was. No, not the Born. What? This one, yeah, the Born This Way concealer. I can't, I can't use this one, Chestnut is way too warm for me. So things like this, they get used for like my upper brow area, spot cleaning my lip, things like that. But yeah, way too warm, so you guys can see. Oh yeah. It's not for me, it's enough. Wow, this concealer really has some staying powder, power. I'm trying to remove it with makeup remover and it's uh it's pretty pretty darn hard um but anyways that's gonna complete my video you guys that's my thoughts and opinions on this product unfortunately it just wasn't what i was expecting from the brand um especially because the foundation is really actually lightweight and like airy and for the concealer to be so thick it was just kind of like a contradiction i guess I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already gone ahead and subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe before you go. I love you all, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.